Hello everyone, welcome back to Talented Developer. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the LDAP login user detail. In last video, we saw how to do LDAP authentication in Spring Boot and it is continuous series of LDAP in Spring Boot. So with the help of last video, we learned how to create the LDAP authentication. So you can see I'm having a user in our LDAP server and the user CN is here RAM. So now what you can do, just come here and try to put the CN and our password was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can see it is working fine. Now our challenge is like how to find which user is currently logging in LDAP. So what you can do, we have to create one API and that API we will try to access once the user login is successful. So just come copy this one. And now we can change here, get user details, copy this one. Now we need to pass one Spring Security class that is called Authentication. So just come and type here Authentication. Let's try to import. You have to import from security.core only. Always Spring having a feature like there is one class that is called User Detail. And with the help of Authentication, we can easily get the user detail. So just come and type here User Details. And you can create object equal to now we have to do typecasting. And after that, use authentication dot get principal. Now you can import your user details. So this class will contain all the user details, but this will work only if the user login is already successful. So if you open this one, you can see they have get password, get username, is an account non expire, is account non luck. They have so many things. So what we can do? Just come and we will try to get some value. So I can say here access user details on a string and let's try to get first username. User name equal to you can copy this one dot get username. Now let's try to check like that account is non expire or not. So what we can do we have to use boolean account non expired equal to user details dot each account non expire so for now i'm just going to access only two variable now what you can do so in the return let's change user details username then new line account non expired and try to pass that boolean let's try to shut down your server again restart I will try to access this API and I want to see what will be happen if I will try to access before the login. Just come, reload and in a state of login, try to do this one. So you can see it will automatically redirect to the login page. Now try to enter username as a RAM and our password was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see here we are getting output like user details equal to RAM and account is non expired is true so in this video we learn how to get the user details in ldap spring boot application so in the next video we will learn something more in ldap with the spring boot that's it for the day bye happy coding